order is in effect until April 30th, the governor has said she would update either before or on April 28th. We will have a more comprehensive outline of the plans on our website, WTVY.com. One who supports reopening Alabama businesses with restrictions is Becky Gerritsen. She's among the group Stand Up Alabama, who rallied at the state capitol yesterday. Barry, uh, Becky Garrison joins us now via Skype. Becky, thank you for uh, being with us this evening. Thank you for having me. Now, you, you are urging Governor Ivey to accept the recommendations from a committee headed by Lieutenant, Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth. Tell us about those recommendations. Well, the recommendations um, allow for retail businesses, restaurants, daycares, and close contact businesses to be able to begin to reopen. There are safety protocols in place, and we feel this is a really good start. And I just wanna reiterate, if a business is not ready, if they don't feel comfortable, they don't have to open. But we have so many people that we know in our lives that are independent contractors, they're not receiving any government assistance at all, and they're not able to get any unemployment. They are on their last you know, $100 to feed their families. They should be allowed to go back to work. And customers, if they're not ready to go out yet, they can stay quarantined as long as they need to, to feel comfortable. But we're going to slowly need to begin um, opening these doors again. And I, I think now is the time. Now, there are two factions, Becky, in the debate over when to get things somewhat back to normal. One of those is business interests, the other health interests. Now, how do you see the Governor Ivy, uh, do you see Governor Ivy rather, finding the right balance between the two? I missed part of your question. It cut out. Um, can you just repeat that? I'm so sorry. Sure, sure. I, I, I said there are two factions in the debate over when to get things somewhat back to normal. One of those is a business interest, the other is health. So how do you see the governor finding the right balance between those two? I think that you can find a balance. I think it's important for us um, to be able to do this, but I think personal resp responsibility t will take a big part. I think the social distancing, the cleanliness, um, wearing masks in public, if, especially if you're compromised, you can still do all of those things. And this is just something we're gonna to have to deal with, but I think we can do it. I think we can slowly begin to open it up. And I know she's let's trying to find forward. a balance. Yeah, yeah. Let's, fi let's fi fast forward real quick ahead to next week. That's when Governor Ivey promised to announce her plans on, on what restrictions uh, to, to, uh, to, to live with. What do you expect her to do? Well, I hope that she goes at least with phase one, and there are a few things in there that, that we would love to see, but by her pushing back now and not starting, that pushes phase two even farther. Elective surgeries are in phase two. You're putting those people who have issues and need those taken care of as soon as possible, they're gonna be pushed back even farther. So I hope that she really opens it up with the phase one recommendations and even maybe adds some more to that. Becky Garrettson, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you. You bet.